Hey everyone, are you looking for the challenge of learning more about application security and how you can go about learning how to hack applications or understand the vulnerabilities within applications and how they work? Well, there's great news out there. There's lots of applications that are purposely built to learn from and they've got vulnerabilities built into them so when you go use them, you can learn how it is that hackers find these vulnerabilities, how they can attack these vulnerabilities, and ultimately it helps us end up learning more about how we can protect our own applications. Well, today I want to talk about how to install the OWASP Juice Shop project into a Docker container for you to be able to learn more about application security and vulnerabilities within application. So what is the Juice Shop? The Juice Shop is a purposely vulnerable application built on Node.js to help you go through and try to find these vulnerabilities and learn more about them in a safe environment where you don't have to worry about getting in trouble by the law. And it's in a nice little area within your own computer, since we're going to do it on Docker, uh, so that it's nice and contained, nice and safe. And we can do it anytime we want. We can work with this project whenever. Just fire up your Docker container and you can start hacking away, if you will. So the Juice Shop is a really great project to help you learn more about it. And what's really cool about it is it's kind of like a CTF, a capture the flag style thing, where it's got a scoreboard in there that as you find vulnerabilities, it checks them off. It also lists out what type of vulnerabilities may exist so you can kind of go on the hunt and try to find those specific vulnerabilities. So enough about what Juice Shop is, let's take a real quick look at how easy it is to install it using Docker. So let's switch over and see how that looks. So here we can see we've actually got the OWASP Juice Shop page up. And this gives us just a little bit of information about what the Juice Shop is, um, some selling points behind it, uh, just that generic information. But if we look over here on the right, we can see that they actually have installations instructions. And one of them is Docker image. Now we're going to go ahead and click on this. And as we look through this, this actually takes us to all the installation instructions. So we're going to scroll down through these. Now, there's installation instructions for how to set this up and deploy it on Heroku. Uh, I've also done that. It's very easy to do if you want it deployed out on the cloud. Uh, it's another good way to do it. But I wanted to look at and play around with using Docker containers and seeing how that could work locally for us. So that way I don't have to worry about having internet access. I've got everything all set locally that I can play with this anytime I want. I don't have to worry about going out to another server. So here we're going to see the information and details about dealing with the Docker container. So I'm going to do this on a Windows machine. And you can see over here that we've only got a few little commands, right? There's four steps to this. One is installing Docker. So hopefully you've already done that. If you haven't, I'm not going to cover that, but go out and install Docker real quick really easy to do. And then the second part is we're going to pull down the container that's already pre-built with Juice Shop up and running on it. And then the third step is going to be we're going to start that container. And then finally, we'll access the site. So let's walk through these steps real quick. Over on the right here, I have PowerShell already set up. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm on Windows. So I'm going to use PowerShell for this. And we're going to run that first command. So we're going to do docker pull And what it's going to do is it's going to actually go out, it's going to pull the latest version and pull that down so that way we have the image locally on our machine. So now the next step that we're going to do is we're actually going to run that image. We've got to fire it up so we can run that container so we have access to our juice shop. So we'll go ahead and run the next command, which is step three. Uh, if you pull up the website, if this is a little small, you can follow along and see the steps that we're doing. So we'll run Docker run dash dash rm dash p, which is specifying that we're sending this, we want it to run on port 3000. So we'll set it up for 3000. And then we'll then include the container we just downloaded. All right, now that we have everything all set, we can hit enter. And this will fire up the juice shop. Now, it'll give you some commands letting you know how the status is going of this firing up. So we can see it's juice shop 7.1.0. It's a node app. 
And now we get a message that says the server is listening on port 3000. So now we can come over to our browser because uh, as for, step four points out, we want to browse to localhost port 3000. So we'll open up a new tab and we'll go to localhost port 3000. And as we do this, it fires up. We can now see that Juice Shop is up and running. Um, if, the, if you're new to Juice Shop and you haven't used this before, it's just a simple application. You can put stuff in your cart, you can surf all around, you can log in. Uh, so there's lots of different things you can do with the Juice Shop. And you can see here, we can click on a product and we can get the information about that product. We can close that. We can click on the login screen. So if we wanted to, we could create an account and we could log in to the application. There's a contact us, All right? These are a few of the menu items that are available that we're not logged in right now, but there's much more to this app. So if you've got any interest in working in application security, you wanna know more about application security and what vulnerable apps look like and how these vulnerable uh, vulnerabilities come across, this is a great opportunity. There's lots of information out on the web about how this application works. So if you need help, you can get it. Uh, but it's a great chance to be able to come in, have an app that you can play around with, and then hopefully build up some of that knowledge. And as you do this, you know, if you're running into problems or you're not sure about some of the things that are out there, think about some of the training options that are there. I know for us at Jardine Software, we also offer uh, training and application security specific training for development groups, QA groups, um, to help provide the background and the information that you're using actually when you're coming in doing these vulnerabilities. We're actually helping provide that upfront training to teach you about what things are like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, uh, so you understand the, the whole gamut of application security. So then you take that information and you come over here and you can apply it and see how that stuff works. So that's just a real quick example of how the juice shop works, how you can get a, a vulnerable application up and running really quick inside of a container using Docker. So I hope that's helpful for everyone. And if you have questions or anything like that, please feel free, reach out. We're always here to help. Send us your information. Our contact info is on there on the screen. Um, so send us your information. Thanks a lot and hopefully you enjoy our videos.